Now, the question that everyone wants to know in the room, uh, a lot of people, because obviously the composition of this panel, uh, what are the opportunities in the travel industry? You've all reached the, the very height uh, you know, of your, your respective segments, profession. What are the opportunities for women uh, that are in this industry? And I guess I'll start with Jackie, because I know she has been thinking about this one. No, I have. Uh, so first of all, I just by show of hands, how many of you uh, would describe yourselves as entrepreneurs? The fo do you own your own business? Therefore, you are all the CEOs of your own business. And, and, and so I think it's really important that the, the dynamic of the industry is changing a little bit. And more and more folks are looking for that entrepreneurial experience. However, if you are interested in moving up and, and uh, moving into a senior position in a company or organization other than your own, then tell someone about it. You know, don't just, uh, you know, you plan what you're looking for, what you want to do. Find out who might be able to help you. Uh, who do you know in that organization? Work on your personal development plan, not on just what will make you better today at what you're doing today, but also on what will prepare you for where you may want to go in the future. But if you don't say something, and if you don't uh, you know, share your goals, and if, you, if more importantly, you don't have goals, uh, then it's going to be difficult to get there. So there really is no barrier. Um, you, you know, a lot of the barriers in here, but uh, you know, make it happen. And uh, if that's what you want, uh, then go for it. But for those of you that are CEOs of your own company, that's great, too, and the industry needs that. Okay, and Christine Duffy, uh, you got to be president of Carnival. And I started as a travel started agent, as a travel or agent. I guess consultant or advisor, whatever we want to call ourselves. So yeah. I think the potential for, for everyone in this industry is limitless. I think for women, and we've always had more women in the travel industry, we never had enough or as many women in senior roles. I think that is changing. But I think to Jackie's point, everybody, to be successful, you don't have to be the CEO in a corporation because a lot of women opt out because they want to be entrepreneurs and they want to have the flexibility that comes with that. And so I think one of the things we're not doing enough of is talking to people, young people in colleges and universities about careers in the travel industry. People don't, you know, you ask a college student what they want to do, it's they either want to be investment banker or they want to be working for Google or they're going to be a consultant. We, there are phenomenal jobs in all parts of this big travel industry and I think we all need to do a better job grabbing the best, brightest because it's a phenomenal industry and once you're in it, like, why would you want to go work for a whatever? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is it is addictive. It yes, certainly it is. is addictive. Now, Jennifer, also, what do you think of the career opportunities? I, I would agree. I mean, look, it's an industry powered by women. It's um, this, the majority of the time the decision maker is the woman. We all have, as women, we have great insights about how that all works um, and how women are different than other, uh, or even among the different segments of women, how people are behaving and, and, and acting and, and all of their travel planning. So we have a lot to offer at Tauk. 75% of our, our team is women. 40% uh, of our executive team is women. I agree. It's not exactly where we want to be, but we're getting there. And, and it's, it's changing, and it's exciting. And I have to tell you, it's a heck of a lot of fun. And it, it's not just because it's, it's fun and it's a great group of people, but because we bring a diversity to the decision making that's been proven by every business school, every set of research, that the more diversity that you have on your board and in your executive team, the better decisions you make and the better financial returns you have. So I, I think I agree with everything you all said, and I think it just behooves us all as an industry to embrace the opportunities um, for women unanimously. Yeah. Lindsay, same question. I, well, I saw the hook come out. So it's it's okay. End. You know what? Yeah. It's a fine. I, I love it. But no, I, I, I agree with everything up here. I can't wait for the day that we never get asked the question about why. what's the difference between <laughs> men and women. So um, I'm really proud to sit up here with this panel. I think there's great opportunities, but I look forward to that not being a question. So I am, I'm excited about the fact we're seeing things change dramatically. And Christine, when you... Just you, want you, to tell yeah. you. I just want to tell you all, go with your passion. And you will never be 100% ready. But don't think that you cannot do it. No matter if it's the next promotion or your own business, just go for it. 
volunteer, raise your hand, otherwise you might not be considered. And this enables you then to really empower more and more female or male leaders, it doesn't matter, but really leaders in the industry. So thanks so much for having us here. Yeah, on thank your panel you. Today. Please give them a hand. This is a great panel. Thank you very much for coming out.